All right, so now we've talked about whether or not it makes sense to rent or buy. The great news is on centuryresidential.com, we have a calculator that will let you see what your net worth variance will be depending on what you choose to do. So come and join me at centuryresidential.com right now for a step-by-step -step demo. So here we are on centuryresidential.com. You can find the rent versus own estimator under resources under rent versus own calculator. The first thing you're gonna put in is what you're paying in your current monthly rent. Or if you're in the military, active duty, on base, and giving up your BAH to live on base, what your total BAH amount is. Out here in San Diego, common BAH is gonna be around 2,800, so we'll put that in. Down payment on a loan. Fortunately, we're using our VA loan, so that's gonna be a 0% down payment. The interest rates have been pretty great lately. We're gonna put it in here at a 3% rate um, for our VA loan. HOA on the particular property that we're considering is $300 a month. Effective income tax rate. This is what you expect to pay in combined state and federal income tax effectively at the end of the year after your deductions. We're gonna use 17% just as a, a round figure and a pretty common number there for our effective rate. The purchase price of our property. Again, out here in San Diego, it's slightly more expensive, so we'll use $525,000. Now, if I have someone else that will be living with me, maybe I am active duty and I have a couple of other service members who are going to be staying with me and paying me rent, I can include the income coming from them on here. For now, I'm gonna put this in here as zero dollars because I don't have anyone living with me. I'm gonna do a 30-year loan, which is the loan term there. The expected value appreciation. Now, this is how much the value of my home will likely go up year over year over year. Historically, the national average has been at 3.5%. San Diego trends a bit higher, but I'm gonna be conservative and keep it at 3.5%. Number of years that I'm going to keep the home. Well, I'm planning on keeping this until I retire from the military, which is 10 years from now. So I'm gonna say 10 years of living in this home. When I do sell the home, I will have to pay a commission to a realtor should I choose to use one. So just so we have an all-in comparison, we include that on here as well. And I'm gonna put in here 5.5% for my real estate commission when selling. I scroll down and click calculate, and this is going to populate for me my net worth variance over those 10 years that I own the home. This particular scenario shows me that if I were to rent a house, my all-in expenses over those 10 years would be $390,000. Now, if I actually purchase a home, my all-in net expenses are going to be $99,000, meaning that my net worth variance over 10 years is $290,000 more just in 10 years of owning a house instead of renting out here in San Diego. If you want to get more detail, you can even see the amortization schedule for your loan and be able to see how it's paid off over the course of this example of a 30-year loan. Now, as you saw, all of those fields are custom and can be changed by you. So come on to centuryresidential.com, plug in your variables, and make a decision as to whether it would be better for you to rent or buy your next home. If you have any questions about the Century Residential Rent Versus Buy Estimator, please reach out to a Century agent or inquire right there at centuryresidential.com.